What's up guys, it's one third of the best looking guys on YouTube. Actually sexy, I don't mean best because we are sexy. Light skin face. And today I'm going to be telling you guys, wait, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bu bu bucket button so you guys know when we release new videos. Without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm going to be giving you guys a story time about... The time that I actually went to jail and spent time in jail. I spent 15 days in jail. Okay, so here is the story. Let me sit, you know, little person style, crisscross applesauce. Okay. So at the time I was working for the Amish people, building houses. Yeah, your boys are working, man. I've laid concrete. I know how to build a house with my bare freaking hands. Except for, I, mean, I probably will still mess up just a little bit just because I don't remember every single thing. But I was working with the Amish people. And if you guys watch us, you guys know that, dang it, freaking, just trying to look good for you guys. There we go. <laughs> and if you guys watch any of us, you just know that I don't have a car. And here's the reason why I don't have a car. Um, I'm working for the Amish people. They want me to get my license because Amish people do not drive. So they wanted me to drive them places. Not only did they want me to drive them places, they wanted me to drive them to work, which is still the place. What freaking am I saying? They wanted me to drive them everywhere, pretty much. So not only that, I have to have a license to do like the um, the big machines that they want that they use, but they still let me use them. Don't tell no one. What am I saying? Don't tell. I'm tell, I'm about to tell millions and thousands of people. Whoever watches this video, they're gonna know. So I'm sorry, Amish people. Please. Don't come after me with your buggies and stuff. But, uh, so they want me to get my license and I, I start reading so that way I can go get my permit and keep in mind, I didn't study at all. So it took me six freaking tries to pass the permit test because I didn't study until the very last try just because I thought I was smart enough and I obviously am um, not, not smart enough because I'm dumb and didn't. And wasted like seven dollars each and every time. Whoa, dude, my knee is weird. It's like pointing at you guys. Whoa. Uh, I failed six times and I finally passed it. Made me so freaking happy because I almost like got discouraged and stopped like messing with it. And stopped messing with. Um, sorry, there's freaking lint and it's angering me. I don't like little things like that. And I almost got discouraged and literally stopped trying. Um, got my permit. And then it's time for me to get my 50 hours. I started driving. I had my 50 hours. And then my friend's mom, like, we kind of became okay because, like, her her daughter, I was trying to get with her daughter. And then her first daughter didn't want to get with me. And then her second daughter didn't want to get with me either. But I was trying anyway. Like, I don't know. Like, why can't I get a girl? It's, it's, it's weird. But... Um, me and her mom became okay, I guess, because I started, like, helping her mom around her house and, like, help laying bricks and mowing her lawn and stuff. And mostly just because, like, I wanted to try to get with her daughter. But it was also cool to, like, have a, because my mom lived in Ohio. So it was, it was cool to be able to, like, go spend time with them as a family. And uh, she let me start using her car. And, um... We drove up to the B the DMV or BMV. I don't know. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know what the name of it is because I really just don't care. And I get there. I'm, I'm feeling real confident. It's like eight o'clock, nine o'clock in the morning, by the way. So it sucked to be up this late or this early anyway. So I get there and I start driving. Um, the guy gets in. He's he's a real jerk to me in the beginning too because he was like hit the brake light. I was like I'm hitting the brake light, dude. He, he just freaking wouldn't pay attention, and I was hitting the brake light, and he just he was, he was angering me. So it didn't start off too good, but then we started driving, and me and him started talking a little bit more, and we became cool-ish, like as cool as you can with the freaking driver. Like I had him laughing. He almost let me put the music on. He he almost let me put the music on. I was trying to be cool, and but we get to this light, and it's a green light on the left turn, and not a green arrow, and. I'm still a little bit of a rookie driver, so I try to get out there, and 
make myself look like oh, like I know what I'm doing. So I get up there, I pull halfway in, I'm like, yo, this seems right. And then uh, I see a break in the traffic. But the the left turn has a hill that kind of like like goes down. So I can't really see like a car coming. So I see the brake and I start to turn in and boom, I get T-boned by this big ace freaking U, uh, USV, freaking SUV, big, big, uh, ace SUV. And, uh, my, my car spins around, does a complete 180. I go back into the lane that I'm turning out of, clip a truck. Luckily, I stay conscious this entire time. I whip away from the truck so that way I don't hit him straight on. I kind of clip the, the front of it. That's it, like the tail light, or not the tail light, the front light might have been knocked out. And I roll down into a ditch or roll over a fence into a school's parking lot while school is going on. So I can only imagine what all the kids are, are thinking when they hear this boom and see a car roll up in their school's driveway. The car was totaled and the guy that was my driver ed teacher, he's like, he, he wasn't even shook. He was just like, it's okay. This happens. It's happened to me once before. You're not the only person, which kind of made me feel better because I was like, I was in a real emotional state. At, at a 19 year old, I'm in an emotional state, but I'm ready to cry. So I'm like, yo, dude, I'm sorry. Like, I'm very, very sorry. And it hurt me a whole lot because like it damaged my pride. Like I thought I was going to be able to get my license. And that's why I don't really have a car right now because my license was taken away for a little bit. But now I can go get it, so I'm going to go get that. But, um, so, other than that, I, I kind of tried to cheer myself up. And I was like, yo, other than the car accident, huh, how was I doing? Would I have passed and got my license? He was like, oh, yeah, you were doing really good. But he's probably just trying to make me feel better. But he's like, you're doing really good. I would have definitely passed you. You were stopping at all the stop signs and stuff like that. <laughs> so, the lady whose car I used... Uh, she's on her way to, to the uh, to the accident now to see what like what happened to her car and she gets there she's like crying and I I broke down a little bit because I felt, I felt really bad I was like yo I'm so sorry I cried on her shoulder and stuff and she's crying on mine and it was just like I'm so sorry like I'll pay I'll do whatever I have to do to make like this okay and to like pay off because this is my fault and I felt like the car was speeding, to be honest. That hit me, but whatever. And a cop, obviously the cops were called to the scene. And the cop, he asked for my information. I give him my ID and stuff. And he's like, he comes back like three minutes, four minutes later. And he's like, um, sir, did you know that you have a warrant out for your arrest? And I was like, what? And like, I'm already upset because I got into a car accident. So I started getting a little lippy with the cop. I was like, dude, what are you talking about? Like that's not me and like he showed me and I was just like for what he was like uh you didn't go to community service for the time when you uh when you uh, were caught stealing because I had already paid off all the fines and stuff because I was about to join the National Guard and I paid off all the fines and then I just didn't I just something else came up where I got like a job I just really was about to join the National Carcass Guard because I didn't have anything to do and I was really bored and tired with what I was doing in life so I went and got a job and I was like, yo, I don't need the National Guard now because I'm doing something. So that's what I paid off all the fines and I just never got the letter that said I had to go to community service and stuff. So I never went to community service and I guess I had like 300 hours I had to do. And he put me in handcuffs and I spent uh, oh, four or five nights in jail before I even saw the... Um, the judge and the ironic part is I went in with a guy that I had never known and I hope he sees this because I, I, I don't know his name anymore but he has a tattoo that says Jake Hollow on his arm and but we went in the same day we got booked together we were in the same cell and everything and we got sentenced the exact same day we both got 15 to 30 so we got 15 days instead of 30 days and it was actually I don't want to say jail was fun but it definitely wasn't like as worse as what as bad as what like I thought it was gonna be I'm not saying go out and do things but it wasn't as bad as what I thought it to, was because to me I was like yo I have no worries I get fed every single day I can shower I can go do whatever I want as long as I'm good they had a TV I was watching TV every single day I met some pretty cool guys 
and uh, they they knew that I was into God, so they let me pray with them sometimes and learn how to play cards, spades. I'm, I'm actually decent at spades now because you know, I'm pretty good at chess. I played chess almost every single day. I actually was doing push-ups every single day. I swear I came out super swole, like as swole as I ever did because we'll do push-ups with the cards, and I need to get back into that. The food was not great. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. But if you ever get the jalapeno cheddar cheese and the jelly, put that on everything. It makes everything good. And then I got out, and here I am today, like two years later, a year later. But that's a story on how I went to jail and spent 15 days in jail because of a freaking warrant, and I got into a car accident. It sucks, right? Terrible, unfortunate event. Like I was getting my license, I was getting everything together, and then boom, I get put in jail, and now my entire life has changed. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, that's how I that's how I went to jail, and I'm, I'm sorry, I burp a lot of my videos. I don't even know what it is, but if you guys want to see more story times, let me know what you guys want to see. Ask me a question, and I will make a story time about it because I have a lot of stories. I have done a lot of things. I'm a very crazy person. I've done a lot of things. So if you guys want to hear some more story times. Let me know, ask me some questions. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. And I just wanna say thank you to God each and every single day. Without him, none of this would be able to be possible. Make sure you guys put some uh, prayers down below and we will answer them. Love you guys, much love, I'm out.